He's the man who calmly stood before the three teens charged with the vicious Central Park jogger attack and read their guilty verdicts while an entire city seemed to listen. Earl Fisher, the foreman of the Central Park jury, spoke with me in his first television interview today on the condition we not show his face. The law school graduate, who never actually practiced law, guided the jurors through 10 days of hell behind closed doors in a locked jury room. Were there screaming matches in the jury room? Yes, there were. Can you describe some of that? Well, I can't use the language that we <laughs> used, but I can tell you there were several times when voices were raised to the ceiling, uh, furniture was moved in a not uh, so easy fashion, and uh, sometimes it was pacing up and down, and I know that there was occasion where someone I think wanted to bang someone over the head because they failed to see you know, the point or the issue that we were discussing and see it clearly. As prosecutors now prepare to try three more black and Hispanic teens for the attack, Charges of racism still hang like a dark cloud over the court where only two nights ago relatives of the three convicted youths openly wept. The foreman of the Central Park jury says jurors never believed that racism had anything to do with the case. In fact, he says the one holdout in convicting Antron McRae was a white juror. There have been a lot of uh, implications that this was in fact uh, a racial lynching of these three kids. Did that ever come into play in the jury no. room? The first thing I did when we got into the jury room was to make that clear. And I asked everybody on the jury to please tell me whether or not, whether or not they thought this was a racial case. And everyone said, no, it is not a racial case. But Earl Fisher does believe that the upcoming trial of three more teens will contribute to the already tense racial climate in New York City. Howard Beach, Yusef Hawkins, and the trial out in Brooklyn kept the fires going. And then they finally got to us. And we're still not through because we've only had three defendants. There are more to come. So the fire, the pot is still going to burn for a while. And uh, it, it's going to boil. And I think one of the things that the mayor is concerned with is that it does not boil over. I'm Glenn Thompson, Channel 11 News at 10.